Demi Lovato's haunting voice found an otherworldly new audience this week as they serenaded a woke ghost struggling with the trauma of sexism in the afterlife. The singer and activist, who identifies as non-binary, found themselves singing to an appreciative apparition while exploring paranormal disturbances in the latest edition of their Peacock TV show, Unidentified with Demi Lovato. Lovato's impromptu performance came as they paid a visit to abandoned Arizona town Vulture City, said to be the source of numerous ghostly disturbances, with close friend Matthew Scott and paranormal investigator Chris Smith. Entering a dilapidated former brothel, the trio stumbled across Carmen, a ghost with distinctly feminist leanings and a lingering grudge against men after being mistreated by the opposite sex in life. Somehow managing to communicate with a technologically savvy Carmen through an EMF detector, a piece of equipment that emits a sharp, high-pitched noise whenever paranormal contact is made the group engaged in an unlikely discourse. Have you seen anything like ETS here, or UFOs? Star people. Lovato asked, only for the EMF detector to abruptly fall silent. Instinctively realizing the once chatty Carmen's sudden shyness might have something to do with her male colleagues, they added, did you not want to say anything else because the boys were in here? The question prompted a sharp response from the detector, and woke warrior Lovato immediately latched onto a potential answer. I think, oh, I get that a lot, they said. She has trauma. That's why she doesn't like men. I have trauma, too, so I feel you and I get it. Encouraged by Scott and Smith, who waited outside the room. Lovato proceeded to empower Carmen by singing an a cappella rendition of their 2011 single, Skyscraper. Upon finishing a verse from the track, which includes lyrics about staying strong and believing in oneself, the detector emitted three short bursts, indicating a positive response from Carmen. Evidently thrilled, Lovato said, that's the coolest standing ovation I've ever had.